Hola mi gente, aquí Alba de nuevo para hablar de libros, algunos en español, desde Puerto Rico. Hi people, how are you? Here I am, Alba again, uh, from Puerto Rico, talking about books, some of them in Spanish. Um, I was watching Didi and uh, several other ladies uh, on their book chat for Read So Lit. I will link that chat uh, down below in the description box. Now, that took like almost three hours, the chat. But it was so interesting uh, that I stayed up uh, when I finally uh, got the chance to uh, see it. And I noticed that they mentioned uh, children's literature for this month of February, Black History Month. And I was chomping at the bits because <laughs> I love children's lit and especially uh, for the month of February. Uh, I have been uh, collecting for my grandchildren different books by African-American authors and illustrators uh, in English and in Spanish. So that's what I want to share with you today, and I hope you enjoy. Disfruten. Check it out. Let's start with Clemente, written by Willy Perdomo, who's a Puerto Rican poet out of the diaspora, and Brian Collier, who's an award-winning uh, children's illustrator. It's about a little boy named Clemente who learns about Roberto Clemente, his namesake, and uh, it's essentially a biography uh, for children about Clemente and his uh, baseball career. It includes how he dies. Jose Pinta la Virgen is about Jose Campeche, our first uh, recognized painter in Puerto Rico, written by Carmen Leonor Rivera Lacen and Rinali Alvarez Astacio. In this book, Jose paints everything in sight. He practices the Virgin Mary over and over again. And I found Los Discos de Mi Abuela by Eric Velázquez. Here, Eric Velázquez plays homage to his grandmother's influence, musical influence on his life, all sorts of music. She loved every kind of music that there was. And she would dance, she would uh, play the drums, she would sing. Uh, she was a big influence. All types of music. It's a wonderful, wonderful book. We learned that his grandmother uh, comes from Santurce, which is an area of Puerto Rico with many, many musicians, including Cortijo, who went to visit her and invited both of them to a concert uh, in uh, New York City. And at the end, Eric gives her records, Miles Davis. This book, in the series Little People, Big Dreams, about Rosa Parks, written by Lizbeth Kaiser and illustrated by Marta Antelo, is for smaller children, but a little bit deceptive because it does include a brief mention of Rosa Parks' uh, activism before even riding on that bus. I would recommend it. Moses, When Harriet Tubman Led Her People to Freedom, is an award-winning book by two award-winning creators, written by Carol Boston Weatherford, illustrated by Kadir Nelson. It is a magnificent, magnificent piece of work. Oh, I loved every single page. When Marion Sang, written by Pam Munoz Ryan, with pictures by Brian Selznick, is about Marion Anderson and even includes her historic concert on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in 1939, in which she drew an integrated crowd of people in the pre-civil rights America. Rosa by Nikki Giovanni, no less, illustrated again by Brian Collier, is not only about uh, 
Rosa Parks, it's also about the entire civil rights movement. Uh, check out those fold out or those fold out uh, pictures. They're magnificent. It's a brief history of the civil rights movement. Henry's Freedom Box is based on a true story about the Underground Railroad. It's written by Ellen Levine and illustrated again by Kadir Nelson. Beautiful pictures about uh, a unique voyage, a unique passage on the Underground Railroad. And you'll have to pardon me uh, for including the three Billy Goats scruff, but I cannot, in clear conscience, uh, leave out the magnificent illustrator Jerry Pinckney and everything he does. Uh, look at this wonderful, wonderful edition of the Three Billy Goats, and I even have his Aesop's Fable in Spanish. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful uh, illustrator, and I love everything he does. Now to get these books back to my grandkids. Bye! <laughs>